Now, in my opinion, the infiltration test is one of the most useful, simple tests that you can do to get an insight into the health of your soil because it helps you to understand what is called effective rainfall, which means the amount of the annual rainfall that you get, which is actually integrated into the soil. In very simple terms, we're going to be measuring how quickly you can infiltrate 25 millimeters of water into your soil, which corresponds to one inch in imperial measurements. And then by dividing that over 60 minutes, we'll get an insight into how many centimeters or inches you can infiltrate into your soil over the span of one hour. So let's get started. Now there are only a couple of tools and basic equipment that you need to be able to perform this test accurately. The first and most important is a PVC tube. In this case, this is 150 millimeter diameter measured at 75 millimeters because that is the depth at which we're going to pound this into the ground. I also beveled this end so that it makes it easier to go in when you're pounding it. And on the inside, I've marked both the 75 millimeter, which is the one at the bottom, and 25 millimeters above that, which is where I pour the water to, just for the sake of accuracy. A piece of wood and a mallet make this a lot easier to pound into the ground. If you don't make these marks ahead of time, you can just measure them in place with a tape measure or a ruler. I also usually bring a knife and something to scrape the surface of the ground in order to get rid of the organic matter at the top to get a more accurate reading. And you're definitely gonna want enough water to replace in your water bottle for the amount of tests that you're going to be doing. It's easier to meter it out with this. Now you can also get a water bottle or uh, measure on an existing one the precise amount based on the diameter of your tube, but it's not necessary. Uh, I, I don't do it for my own. And of course, a notepad and markers or pens to mark your results. So when you found your spot, you wanna get some of the grass and organic matter out of the way. I've got the knife here and sometimes the trowel to get some of the stuff that's really stuck in there. And then you need to pound the tube into the ground using that piece of wood so that you don't shatter the plastic. Here I'm pressing the ground into the edges so that there isn't any space for the water to get down the sides. And then you're ready to put the water in and start the timer. Here's a time lapse of what it looks like going all the way down. And now that it's done, we'll start the second test, which is the one that we're actually going to be recording. Fill the water all the way back up to the same level. And let's just speed through this process because it takes a while. And you're completely finished when there's a wet glaze over the top of the earth and there's no standing water in it. So I'll show you the results that I got from my different infiltration tests. So as I've recorded it here, I'm on the triangle plot, which is the name of the plot of land on my farm. And I did two different readings. The first one, of course, I'm not counting. The second of one I've got circled here. And I did a second site in order to get an average. So between six minutes and five minutes and 30, now I round up to the nearest minute or the nearest half minute, just to make the division easier. And then you want to divide 60 by the number of minutes that you got in your second reading. So in this case, it's 60 divided by six, which gives me 10. And then there's 60 divided by 5.5, half minute, which gives me 10.9, which I round to 11. Now, if you wanna get the number of millimeters after that, then for the first one, it's 10 times 25, which is my millimeters, which gives me 250 millimeters per hour for the first one. The second one, 11 times 25, gives me 275 millimeters per hour. The average between those is what I've got here on my triangle plot field. Now, in general, if you've got between two and five minutes, which is between 750 and 300 millimeters per hour, you're in the good range. You've got good infiltration. Anywhere in the medium range between six and 20 minutes or 250 millimeters or 75 millimeters is medium, definitely room for improvement. And if you are more than 20 minutes or less than 75 millimeters per hour, this is poor. And it probably means that you're losing a lot of rainwater off of the surface when it rains. Now, like most of these soil tests, it does make a difference if you have heavy clay soil or if you have sandy soil, especially for something like infiltration. Heavy clay is of course going to take longer to infiltrate and sand is likely to infiltrate very quickly. And so taking that into account when you get your readings is important. 
Now, of course, remember to record the results over time. This is what's going to give you insights into the efficacy of your management and whether it's improving or decreasing the infiltration capacity of your soil. And use the Farm Health Report Card if you can to keep track of these over time and make it easier to organize the data. I'll see you in the next one.